Welcome back. The top of the health district's website carries a warning about staying safe in extreme heat. That also applies to restaurants. Yeah, and this week's Dirty Dining 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears reports on half a dozen places that were unable to beat the heat. In tonight's Dirty Dining, four food trucks and two restaurants, most of which have one thing in common, issues with refrigeration. It's the type of thing we typically see this time of year as restaurant equipment struggles to keep things cold. The equipment just cannot take the high heat. Veggie House owner and chef Y. Lee learned a hard lesson on June 1st when his restaurant on Spring Mountain in Decatur was shut down for inadequate refrigeration. When the, there's a heat wave, everybody is, is rushing for technicians, you know, uh, air, air conditioning, residential, commercial, everybody's screaming for help. While he was waiting for his cries to be answered. The next day, and then it all happened, how inspector walk in. And reminded him he should have shut himself down due to the imminent health hazard. Say, okay, I take a few days and change the equipment once and for all. Inspectors found Veggie House's fridge and freezer were both on the fritz, a repeat violation resulting in lots of food having to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures. Other issues added up to 26 demerits. Dirty ceiling, dirty floors, greasy equipment. How did all that happen? Uh, it's, it's, it depends on how you want to you know, look at the degree of dirtiness. You know, when it's dirty, it's dirty. You know, but uh, equipments are always you know, con constantly being used. You know. Double stacked foods without barriers, including eggplant, carrots and celery, had to be tossed due to potential contamination. An ice cream scooper was stored in 78 degrees standing water. The can opener blade was covered in a layer of grease and old food and there was mold in the ice machine. There are hundreds of things can go wrong in a, in a restaurant. Chef Lee says they'll be extra vigilant about upkeep in the future. So it's a good thing in some way. It's a good thing, you know, then I can see how, well, how bad I am. <laughs> I mean, the report allowed me to see, hey, you know, what are the deficiencies I'm lack of, and then in that way I can improve. He says worker turnover has been a big stumbling block. Keep training them, training them the next day, they're, they're gone. You know. mm -hmm. So uh, there is neglect, no problem, no, no question about that. His point is proven the moment we enter the kitchen. Right, but your workers have the door open back there. They're letting all the heat in right now. He discovers they also turned off the fly fan, which is another health code violation, and they failed to fully close the walk-in cooler door. But he remains grateful for the health district's wake-up call. Lay it on me, let's do this. Let's do it. I think it's a good thing. Back out in the restaurant, Veggie House regular Daniel Carlson speaks in support of his favorite vegan eatery. Health inspections make sense in, in a general sense, but I don't, I don't think there's anything shocking. Or Neither the imminent health hazard nor the 26 demerits. If you walked into a restaurant and saw a C grade on the wall, would that matter to you? Um, I think certain places, but but not this one. I mean, with with it being vegan, it's it's hard for vegan food to spoil. Most of it's either dried and and then rehydrated and fried, or it's yeah, it's it's durable food. Veggie House was back to a three demerit A grade on June 9th. At the premium outlets on Grand Central Parkway in Bonneville, Dirty Dining repeat offender Kung Pao Walk was shut down June 4th for a multi-generational cockroach infestation. It also got 25 demerits. Inspectors saw about 30 roaches nesting at the walk station and more on floors, under the prep station, at the hand sink and the trash can. Greasy floors and equipment and pooling water were a draw for the roaches. Dishes and cutting boards being washed in excessively dirty water, holes in walls, and malfunctioning refrigerators rounded out the violations. We were unable to reach anyone for comment. We've got four food trucks that were shut down, two for inadequate refrigeration and two for excessive demerits. Tacos La Chapis at the Las Palmas indoor swap meet on Las Vegas Boulevard in Pecos was shut down June 1st with 44 demerits. And Dirty Dining repeat offender Carefree Catering had another of its trucks put in park on June 4th at Sky Vista and Far Hills with 41 demerits and three imminent health hazards, gross unsanitary conditions,
improper sewage disposal, and inadequate refrigeration. Inspectors say many of the trucks operated by owner Jerry Aguirre have food safety risk factors and are continuously out of compliance. We have her statement and details about the other two food trucks, Meats Gone Wild and Tio Chewy's Tacos, on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.